a talk by george in today's video we are doing an another rom review yes that is right uh, the cr droid cr droid android 13 uh, version 9.6 let me go to the um the about phone section and show you um yes android 13 uh cr droid version is 9.2 as you can see this is the official version of the rom the rom is actually on the latest security update 5th of february 2023 and the kernel that I'm using right now is 4.19.267 RA legacy kernel. So I have basically changed the kernel. I believe it, the default one was Pyro. I didn't actually have the default one. Um, were there any specific reason for that? No. I just want to see if uh, the uh, ROM actually boots with the custom kernel. Um, everybody knows about CR Droid. So basically I don't need to actually give you a lot of introduction about the CR Droid ROM. Uh, CR Droid is a fantastic ROM. It is actually based on lineage. So you can expect to have a lot of privacy in terms of uh, user experience and all. Um, and the second thing is the ROM is actually filled with quite a lot of customization. Now the ROM comes with Vanilla. So I have actually flashed the um, Mind G apps. The link is actually available at uh, Nick's group, CR Droid Kind group. Um, so let us go to the play store because recently we have seen that many ROMs were actually failing the CTS or failing the play store certification. Let's go to the settings and about. So basically this ROM is actually uh, passes the safety net without any Magisk module. Um, so the let us actually take some look at what all new changes has CR Droid come up with. The first major change that I have noticed is with the uh, home screen. So basically earlier there wasn't any uh, any any way to adjust the opacity for the hot seat background which is this thing, the dialer icon and message icon. So basically this bottom thing. Uh, so now you can actually uh, adjust the opacity of the, uh, of the background, I mean, of that particular hot seat background. And second is actually the quick space you can actually change the way date and things are being displayed so we are actually familiar with this sort of feature from the 7 point uh, android android 11 7 version so we were actually familiar with these sort of things in that um in that room so that is a major change with the room i mean with the launcher actually so let us go to the settings page um, to be honest with you, there isn't much addition to the settings page. Uh, I mean like uh, in terms of customization or new option. Only thing that I have noticed is that CR Droid has added some um, uh, added few fonts like uh, nothing OS fonts and all. Um, and the other major change is under the gestures, you have a new option under the gesture navigation. You can actually um, adjust the build radius if you are if you have uh, if you are using the ROM uh, with the nav um, navigation hint enabled. So basically, you can actually um, customize the build radius and stuff like that. So that is also a new kind of addition to the uh, ROM. Now let us go back again and go to the uh, CR Droid settings and try to see if we can find out any um, any new uh, new option that has come up in the uh, in the customization. Basically, that's it, I believe. Um, apart from that, every other customization looks uh, similar to me. So I am not sure if uh, they have added more customization to the um, ROM navigation it is all the same buttons then user interface ambient display monet settings well monet set, even in monet settings you will have the default one and under the fonts as you can see you have uh, nothing uh, font available with the rom so apart from that i don't think that there is actually a kind of new addition to the um, rom so this is something that i have felt with the rom and with the latest update but uh, to be honest with you the update is actually quite smooth um, even though I actually the first update was little bit messed up I believe there were some uh, minor bugs with the first update I hope that uh, the second update have solved the issue the ROM actually comes with the uh, vanilla version of AOSP version of dialer and messages hub so that is and they have actually in the changelog they said that they have actually done something with the monad thing for the dialer Apart from that, the uh, I, what I found with the ROM is the ROM is actually quite smooth and stable. Um, it is not smooth as 
it was with the 812 update the last one 8.16 8.16 was a fantastic update the rom was butter smooth and it was to be honest with you it was one of the smoothest android 12 experience i had apart from that uh, well this rom is actually android 13 and it passes safety net by default so that's also a positive thing um so this is what i have to or what i uh, what i can tell you about the rom uh, the rest is like you try and you judge on your experience once again i would like to thank nick for this fantastic update he did an amazing job the rom rom is very smooth and um, the rom functions very good so many thanks to nick and uh, many thanks for watching this rom review thank you